Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today is something a little bit different. I've seen this done on Instagram several times on Reels where people have made mini books <laughs> of all of the books they've read in a year and put them in a Christmas bauble. I thought it was such a cute idea and I really wanted to do it. So this is just a super quick video of me doing this. I basically pulled the covers of all of the books that I've read from Goodreads or I did have to search on Google for some where I've read the UK editions because I did want them to look like the books as I've read them. I then printed them out on sticker paper which as my other hobby is planning I do have quite a lot of sticker paper so that was relatively easy for me. I bought these I think they're five millimeter thick foam boards and I'm putting the stickers onto the foam boards and then cutting them. It was very difficult to cut these with scissors so thankfully again as a planner crafty person I do have a craft knife and a cutting board which was significantly easier. So you can see me here, I'm trimming each of the rows of the books using the cutting board, which was just a lot easier than doing it with scissors. I'm so happy to see all the books together like this. I think they look adorable. So I'm cutting by row individually. You can see that it was really quite difficult to do. I did have to cut back and forward several times. Maybe five millimeters was too thick in the end. It was also a little bit frustrating because I have this one book because I think I've read 55 books and it didn't quite fit in a row. So I've got this one individual book that has to be done by itself, which is so silly, but it was a cute Christmassy book. So I did want to make sure that I included it in there. Once I've got the strips of the book, I then cut the individual books. So you can see here we're starting with Jade City, Love Hypothesis. I did put all of the books in chronological order as I read them, but obviously in the bauble they're just mixed up. So here I'm just cutting out the individual books. I did do a close up of this because I realised I was quite far away and this way you can see the books. This is where they do start to take shape. My cutting is not that great, I'm going to be honest. The straight lines are not particularly there, I did have to do quite a lot of trimming with my scissors. I'm a perfectionist, thankfully, I was not particularly perfectionist about this task, which is good. Oh, look at Mini Heartstopper 3. You can see, yeah, the back there, it needs a little bit of work, but it's fine. So I printed off every sheet twice. Well, there's just one sheet. I printed off the sheet twice, and then I cut up the sticker paper again here. You don't need to stick them on the foam again. What you do is you just stick the book cover on the back. So. I mean, I could have, I suppose, if I'd really been bothered, found the blurb rather than the cover again. But I think in the bauble, it looks better if you can just see the cover on either side because they do get mixed up and kind of in a group. So I think that it looks a little bit better this way with the covers on both sides. And that's what I've seen on the Instagram reels. So I do think that they look really cute. I think that this was my favorite row to do because it had most of the Heartstopper books. And I think that they look really cute. now that I've done all the books you can see them all here and I'm about to load them into the bauble this is my third time buying baubles these are 10 centimeters and they're still too big so I now have eight centimeter ones coming but I wanted to get this video up so I've just stuck with the 10 centimeter for the purposes of this video these are just empty baubles that I got from Amazon but still to make a bauble that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like and comment down below if you have anything you want to chat about and let me know what you thought of this idea. I would also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!